Starting with version 1.7 of the Graph PowerShell SDK, we have access to a new command called the Find NG Graph command, which allows you to get more information around what's being called behind the scenes when you're using the Graph PowerShell SDK. So if we were to just run a quick um, search on this using the get commandlet, we can see that this command is available as part of the Microsoft.Graph.Authentication module. So the moment you have that module installed on your machine, you should be able to use it. And the way to actually use it is, let's say you're browsing our official Graph PowerShell SDK uh, documentation, and you end up finding this command here, the get ng application owner. And what you're trying to figure out is what's actually being called behind the scene. So by calling this command here, right, simply calling the find ng graph command using the command parameter and passing in the name of the command, I'm going to get information back around what's the actual URI of the endpoint that's being called in the back end. So we can see that it's calling the application slash application ID slash owner. But on top of this, the other thing I can do is I can then go and pipe this to a format list star, right? So simply adding this at the end of the command. And that will return additional information, including what are the permissions that are required for an app registration to be able to leverage that endpoint, which is extremely useful. This is something that people have been asking for for a long time. So you can get that information from here. On top of this, you can do the opposite. So let's say you're browsing the REST API documentation and you end up finding that, all right, I want to go and get information about drives. And what I want to do is I want to figure out what commandlets are available as part of the Graph PowerShell SDK that will let me interact with the drives, right? So what you can do is you can do the find ng graph command. This time I'm going to be using the URI parameters and I'm going to pass in slash drives. And this is going to return information back to me saying that there are actually two commandlets that map to that endpoint. The first one being get ng drive and the second one being new ng drive. Thanks for watching. Until next time.